Greetings, my name is Nisim. I'm glad to meet you again. Uh, this is another painting of mine, of course. Uh, it took me a while to do. For some reason, it was kind of hard to work on it. But it was so elaborate and so intrinsic. Uh, a lot of different uh, things going on. Basically, uh, this is a... Uh, the painting symbolizing uh, uh, the triumph of Western civilization. Uh, pretty much uh, the way it's meant to be. Uh, the way of, um, of things that are right, the light. Uh, so Jesus is a symbol of Western civilization. Uh, the world of the of Greece and Rome that pretty much is for where uh, the civilized uh, world uh, comes from I mean in my personal opinion so here you have the figure of Jesus uh, and then you have a fish I used a koi fish because it's very uh, since I do tattoos as well of course uh, I've been little by little incorporating tattoo elements into uh, my paintings. So the fish is a symbol that's uh, very embedded in the Christian world uh, as far as in connection with Jesus. Uh, there's many passages in the Bible that, that, you know, that deals with Jesus and fish, that he raised a fish and then he had many for everyone, etc. There's many, many examples. So here's another fish. But uh, it's basically an ancient uh, sculpture of Sumer, of uh, the ancient uh, empires that more or less in that region. I'm not going to go into detail to describe which one exactly. And uh, here I put a dove and here I put a serpent. Because Jesus says, uh, be wise as a serpent but passive like a dove. So I like that passage a lot. It's very symbolic of of things that I consider wise. Uh, it's, it's very peaceful, very very nice. Uh, so here I have uh, two uh, lions of the ancient cultures of that region of the world. Uh, obviously uh, with arrows, etc. And then here, I put many uh, symbols of the Greek world. I kind of like did my own thing with it. And these are like reliefs from uh, ancient uh, from ancient civilizations uh, of that region, representing uh, pretty much things that are personal to me. I won't go into detail. And uh, painting, uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, uh, I think it's a very successful painting in my personal opinion. I, uh, I'm very happy with it. And uh, I enjoyed uh, doing it. Though for some reason it was... Uh, it's not that I didn't flow naturally, it's just that it was kind of hard to do. For some reason I had to really focus. I had to pay a lot of attention into it. So I guess I'm just going to zoom in into portions of it, so you can uh, see it better. That's the top part. That's uh, the face of Jesus. If you notice here, you see the koi fish, well, a symbol of the fish, the fish over here also to the left, used by the by the Pilishtim that used to worship Dagon. There's a dove on the edge, there's a serpent, and some text uh, in Old English. If you notice the feathers, it's uh, kind of like, like, like crystal glass. And uh, then in the middle we have these two lions. 
the lion is a symbol very common in the in those regions in Samaria there used to be a lot of lions uh, so this is kind of like a purification center so to speak symbolically speaking if you notice this kind of like uh, geometrical symbols in in green are like uh, based on Greek culture there's another one on red and then I did this little department it was really fun to do it's kinda of like a chemical lab so to speak uh, I have my own approach to it but I won't go into details for reasons that I shouldn't really discuss like if you notice the stuff the kind of like the white smoke is very similar to the waves used in, the, in some of the tattoos uh, so kind of like showing the influence of tattooing in my art and then at the bottom I decided to put this relief from the old world uh, kind of like the past this basically symbolizes the past and this is the future basically the kind of civilizations that we enjoy where we have uh, our liberties uh, so to speak so this is yeah a painting about light a painting about going forth about ascending and uh, like I said uh, it was a complex uh, approach and uh, I enjoyed it I hope that you liked it. Thank you for your time.